Oh look, boys and girls, here's our familiar man. Yes. What could he possibly be doing today? I'm, I'm painting the train that we built once. But then you have to modify the dolly because it's too narrow. So we, we extended the thing with axles and bars and things. So instead of the wheels being in here, we pushed them out there and we did it with new axle, and then this angle iron, and then a square piece. So we've heftied it up with three different, put a bracket on the front so we can connect it to the next train, next car, and then the back of the train gets, gets one of those so that, uh, so they connect. So you can connect them. But then once you do that, you've got to go buy a 55 gallon plastic barrel. And then cut the, cut the top out. Cut out some pieces of wood, make your chairs, attach everything with these screws that later will get painted, which they're painted now. Kind of do it in steps so you don't fill it. But it's a full week of doing this. Right. Sometimes one coat is not enough. Second coat, do you think we're going to get it to that color? No! <laughs> Why would they put that color on if it can't get to that color? It's a trick. Okay, boys and girls, this is a professional train maker. And yes, he's, he's gonna I'm a supervisor. He's going to judge this man's work. Well, this is I'm trying to make sure that he's painting inside the line. scale of 1 to 10, great his work. I'd give it about a 5. This is worse than 5. This is terrible, but it's yeah, well, I could, I could see it would be a problem if you had to paint a dog because they're moving around. That, that train is stationary. doesn't seem like it would be that difficult, but I guess he's dealing with a color that doesn't really uh, cover very well.